25 best PS1 action games. Number 25, Gex Enter the Gecko. Gex Enter the Gecko should have been a much better game. They certainly jack enough concepts from Mario 64 to warrant a good game, but the atmosphere surrounding the gameplay really brings it down. It's a somewhat good and enjoyable game at its finest. Slip of the tongue. <laughs> Number 24, Rifle Schools. Rifle Schools is a fighting game that doesn't take itself seriously with the humorous banter and moveset between characters, and playing the game with friends guarantee a bursting laugh here and there. If you're looking for an easy to pick up fighting game that puts a slightly new spin on the old fighting genre, Rifle Schools fits the bill pretty well. Number 23, Am Jammer Lemmy. Am Jammer Lemmy is a great addition to the genre. With the game's new two-player mode, the extra Parappa remixes, multiple save options, this game has so much more that Parappa didn't have. So, if you enjoyed Parappa the Rapper, then yes, this fun game is a must-have. Number 22, Tomba 2, The Evil Swine Return. Tomba 2 may be a repackaging of the original game, but it's a slick and refined one at that. Newcomers and fans of the original game are in for a treat, but not enough has changed to make the game attractive to those who didn't like the original. Number 21, Dance Dance Revolution. Dance Dance Revolution is a great introduction to a truly unique series with an addictive gameplay and a soundtrack that will have you humming for days. Your concentration will be so focused on forthcoming arouse that you won't be paying much attention to the dancers and psychedelic images floating through the background. Though, this makes for decent eye candy for spectators. Number 20, Dead or Alive. Dead or Alive won't disappoint you if you're a fighting game purist. It's fast-paced, fun, and needs a great amount of strategy to execute fast in order to win. It is one of the best fighting games ever to appear in any console. Overall, Dead or Alive delivers a realistic fighting experience. Number 19, Bus a Groove. Bus a Groove won't attract non gamers in like Parappa did, but it's still quite a bit of fun. The great music and graphics go a long way, and again, the motion capture is really terrific. If Parappa left you wanting more games in that genre, Bus a Groove makes for a good follow up. Number 18, Spyro the Dragon. Spyro the Dragon hasn't aged perfectly, but it still feels solid and runs well. If you can work past a few of the camera and repetition issues, you'll have fun with Spyro and perhaps understand why it was considered such a phenomenal title all those years ago. Number 17, Medal of Honor Underground. Like Medal of Honor before it, Underground provides the younger generations with a look back at a period of history that also deserves attention. Also, it's one of the better first-person shooters available on the PS1, and as such, 
fans of that genre and history buffs alike owe it to themselves to give it a shot. Number 16, Dance Dance Revolution Konamics. One of the things that hasn't changed between versions of DDR is the graphics, and Konamics looks almost identical to the original Dance Dance Revolution, save for the inclusion of a few new on-screen characters. Casual players who enjoyed the original Dance Dance Revolution for the PS1 may want to check out Konamics. Number 15, R-Type Delta If you're a big fan of the shooter genre and you're in the mood for another one, R-Type Delta will suit your appetite. And despite a handful of frustrating parts, R-Type Delta gives shooter fans exceptional gameplay, variety, and replay, in addition to carrying the spirit of the original on in style. Number 14, Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage Spyro 2's addictive features show up early and keep on going right through to its excellent final boss level, creating a game that makes you actually want to acquire every single object and coin to see the alternate ending. That's rare to see, and something you really should attempt. Number 13, Siphon Filter. This hybrid of action slash adventure slash shooter and puzzler solving aspects integrates well balanced gameplay, FMV, and story plot lines like few before it. In fact, it's easy to say that while it borrows aspects from other games, it comes nowhere near close to feeling like any of them. It's a game in its own right, straight and simple. Number 12, Rayman 2 The Great Escape Rayman 2 is one of the best platforming experiences available on the PlayStation. As long as you're not directly comparing it to the other versions of the game, the PlayStation Rayman 2 is an excellent worthwhile game that is not only challenging but is also rewarding. Number 11, Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor has its share of flaws, but it has a ton going for it too. Its numerous little touches add up to compensate for its problems. It's an excellent game and the closest thing you're going to get to GoldenEye 007 on the PlayStation. Number 10, Oddworld Apes Odyssey. Unlike any number of platformers, Oddworld Apes Odyssey requires lots of thinking in solving its puzzles, which are well constructed and challenging, instead of cheap and frustrating. Apes Odyssey really is the ideal platformer, balancing its action and puzzle elements perfectly to make the game intelligent, engaging, and best yet, fun. Number 9, Parappa the Rapper. Parappa's only real problem lies in the length of the game. It's way too short. This game isn't for everybody because it's very silly and odd and somewhat childish. In the end, Parappa the Rapper is undeniably cute and hip, the ideal PlayStation mascot in that he's so universally acceptable and non-threatening. Number 8, Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back Crash is back in a sequel that is so far superior to the original, but this time, the game's problems are balanced out by the game's excellent gameplay and intelligent design. In short, Crash Bandicoot 2 is a top-notch platform game. If you're a fan of the genre, you owe it to yourself to check this title out.
Number 7. Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped The third and final Crash Bandicoot platformer on the PlayStation takes a trip through time. Crash must successfully collect the crystals across five unique worlds, all set in different eras of time. Players travel through vibrant environments, performing tough jumps and defeating enemies. There's a bigger focus on gameplay variety, with more collectibles to find and objectives to complete. Number 6. Street Fighter Alpha 3 The game's graphical prowess and arcade-perfect gameplay, combined with its cache of bonus modes, makes Street Fighter Alpha 3 the standard for 2D excellence on the PlayStation. Overall, Street Fighter Alpha 3 is a flashy fighting game with RPG-like element thanks to the World Tour mode. Number 5. Odd World Apes Exodus In all, Apes Exodus is a great example of how a game can stay true to its conceptual pursuit while still improving upon the original, all while keeping its soul intact. If you loved the first one, you'll like this game more. If you didn't play the first one, you can start here. You will. You will. Well, we'll be. Okay. Number 4. Ape Escape In short, Ape Escape is one of the PlayStation's finest development efforts, one that shouldn't be overlooked because of its silly storyline and title. Underneath this lies one of the best 3D platformers to date, brimming with innovation, originality, and fun. Number 3. Spyro – Year of the Dragon Spyro games have always been among the best looking on the PlayStation, and Year of the Dragon continues this tradition. Spyro himself seems a bit more detailed than his previous incarnations, and the other characters are also well built and nicely animated. In short, this is the best platformer for the PS1. Number 2. Soul Blade Soul Blade is extremely fun and has just enough new elements to make it worth playing multiple times. Soul Blade's only drawback is that it may be too easy, which is bad for some hardcore fans of the genre. But if fast-paced, weapon-to-weapon combat sounds like welcome addition to the fighting arena, Soul Blade is just the game for you. Number 1. Tekken 3 This masterpiece of a fighting game shows that you don't need extra frills to sell a quality product. Regarded as one of the finest fighting games ever made, Tekken 3 defies all odds with its perfection. There's also an extra mini-game mode to distract yourself with, but you'll likely be so preoccupied with the fantastic fighting mechanics to notice. You win.